Hey, what is up guys? This is Rohan from DragonBubble.com and today I'll be reviewing the TuneSkit DRM audio converter software for Windows. As you know, due to DRM protection, you can only listen to your iTunes music on your Apple devices. This software lets you remove DRM protection from your iTunes music files so that you can transfer them to any devices and listen to your favorite music anytime and on any device. So this is the website from where you can download and purchase the software. You can download the trial version for free which lets you convert a third of the media file and once you know that the software is legit, you can go ahead and purchase it. The link to the website will be in the description box below. Let me start up the software. As soon as you launch the software, it also boots up iTunes so you can view your songs and podcasts. Let me minimize it for now. So this is the main menu of the software. First, we will have to add the media files for the software to convert. You can do that in three ways. The first one is by loading your iTunes library. The second method is to add media files by browsing the files from your computer. And the third one is a simple drag and drop. Let's check out the first one. Clicking on this icon will load up your iTunes library. As you can see, all of my iTunes songs are shown over here. On the left, you can sort your media files and the software will show the files from just that category. Let's just choose a random song and add. The song is now added into the conversion list. If you want to change the song name, you can click over here or you can click on edit and change any of the tags. Let's try the second method now. Clicking here opens the browse menu. To view your downloaded iTunes music files, go to the default music folder, then over to iTunes, then iTunes Media, and under Apple Music, you will find all of your downloaded songs. The download location may vary on whether you are using a Mac or a Windows, or if you have your download location set to a different directory. Let me select the song, and there we have it on our list. The final way to add music files is by just dragging and dropping them in the center of the application window. Let me just do that quickly. And there we go. I have added a podcast this time which gives me access to the effects feature. The effects feature allows us to increase or decrease the volume, the playback speed, and the pitch of the audio file. Let me increase the speed for this one. And done. Now let's move on to the format section which is over here. Over here we get to change the format of the audio file. You can choose from over six different audio formats. You can also change the codec, the channel, the sample rate and the bitrate as well. If you have no idea what to choose, you can just use one of the presets from here. Be sure to tick on the checkbox if you want to keep lossless quality. Once you're done, click OK. Before converting, select the output destination as per your preference. Then click on Convert. The conversion process has started and you can see the progress from here. Okay, so all of my music files have been converted. You can click over here to see all of your converted files. Double clicking on it will play the audio file. And as per my settings, the playback speed is a bit faster for this podcast. Clicking on the search icon over here will open the save location. That covers up basically everything about the software. So yeah, that will be all for this video. And I will see you in the next one. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product.